All right, so this is kind of their first real day working on the van build. We did get the uh, pass-through cut there with the help of Dwayne. Kelly's waving through there. But the next step is going to be getting this roll-up door out of here. I've decided to not use the roll-up door. I know a lot of people think for a, a box van build, you could build a, you know, a wall here with a door and still retain this to kind of just maintain the stock look. But I've decided that I really want the headroom up above. So it's going to come out. So I've watched a few videos on how to release the tension on the spring. There is a big heavy duty spring behind here. We'll get this closed and check it out and uh, hopefully all goes well. And we can start on removing the track system. There's a bunch of bolts here. I'm going to have to do some grinding to remove the track on the side, but we'll get busy. I think technically if we put tension on this one, take that one out, this doesn't come flying out. Okay. Should be, uh, be able to. Yeah, it's, it's coming going. around. It's going. It's coming around. Okay, I got you. So we'll just work it. A little tension there. Yeah. Okay, it's on you now. I'm on it. That's tight. That's like it's tight. So I'm pulling mine out. out. Uh, You're coming down with yours. Uh, and just in there. That's in. Up a little bit. Okay, we're doing it. I think. Here, let me spin like this. Whatever you got. Sounds like there's a good 20 turns on these. Oh, so yeah. It's going to take a while. That's fine. Slow and safe. Okay, I think we got to have one in there. All right, we're just going to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like yeah, like, that's it. Well, that was the safe way to do it. So now there's no help when I lift it. So I'll probably, oh, yeah. you can probably sneak out, lift it up halfway, and then I'll got to release the cables. There's two cotter pins on the outside. Oh, you got to get them from the outside? Yeah. All right. Let me come around and help work on the outside. And yeah, we might inside. be able to lift this, see how heavy it is without the spring. No, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's we'll heavy. Yeah, we'll have to sneak through this one. Spin it. Ah, it's not that bad. It's started. It wants to come right back down. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we get it all the way up? Yeah. That is good. All right, we are able to release the tension on the spring there. That was pretty easy, uh, thanks to YouTube. The company that makes this assembly actually has a nice set of detailed videos on how to maintain and release the tension. So we've got the door sitting up here. Um, we're pointed a little forward, so it's not going to roll back on us. The next step is to release these stoppers here. And this is a heavy, a very, very heavy door. So we're going to have to uh, clear out the space below it here, get my junk out of the way. And this door is going to want to come down. I won't be able to hold all of it, but I'll be able to keep it. Yeah, well, I won't, yeah, the thing about it is, is if it gets too heavy, you need to be out of the way. Yeah. I'll make sure it won't break your ankle or anything. Okay. Alright, okay. this is the down. last one now. You want to stand away? Alright, we're looking good here. was able to get the tracks out of the top. And I uh, decided to leave this here. I was thinking I would want to remove this by removing these bolts. But that gives the, uh, the box some integrity as well as it's the channel where the wiring is running down there. So I think I'm going to leave that. But there is this track here which really isn't going to be in our way. So I think for now I'm going to leave it. We're going to be building our wall in this metal frame at the very back of the box. So that is the next step. And then also there's these brackets here for the spring which Again, right now aren't in the way, but I probably will cut those off. Use a metal cutting wheel, get rid of those. Okay, we got our two by fours all cut uh, for our frame for the back wall here. Basically gonna put just kind of a standard house style framing with a three foot door that we're gonna make ourselves out of plywood. So we'll see how this goes. We're gonna get it kind of laid out here on the ground, kind of test fit everything. So one here. 
one at 17 on my tick is. Another at 17 here. And once we get them, we'll lay one in that like that. Okay. That'll, go. Nice That'll give support. you some strength. Nice. Pick the stop, just turn it up. There we go. There we go. Be nice to be able to work on perfectly flat surfaces. Yeah. That don't happen either. We're square. Oh, good there too. Yeah, we're following the line. Everything's beautiful. Yeah. Bottom first or top? Probably top. Tap in that top. A center buck. Yeah. That your hinge is going to lay on. Okay. And we can do. Top buck for this hinge, bottom buck for this hinge. I've only got two hinges coming. And then I'm gonna just put one right here. There we go. Now you can go all the way down the line. All right, and this is the door so far. It's gonna be about a three foot wide door. Wanted it nice and wide to really get a nice flow of air into the back of the van, as well as a nice view out when I'm inside at camp. Okay, so we're working on getting this frame uh, basically bolted into the back of this van here. Bill is working on chiseling out a little bit of the side of the 2x4 because we're using these plus nuts and they stand a little bit proud and we got that frame in there pretty snug. So if you don't know about these plus nuts here, these things are really handy for van builds. Uh, Kelly used these in her transit van. There was a lot of pre-existing holes this size perfectly uh, in her cargo van. So we drilled holes here. So these set in there and uh, pop in there and then you use this tool to mushroom them out and then they hold real tight in there. All right, so here's where we're at. We have the door or the back wall framing in. And like I showed, we use those plus nuts or the rivet nuts uh, in the steel of the frame of the van and bolted the uh, framing in all around. So now it's time to uh, start fitting our door here and get our door jam kit installed and uh, see if everything pieces together. We're just gonna use half inch plywood for the sheathing here and then probably have another on the inside, some insulation in between. And it's looking like we'll probably end up doing a little uh, caulking to totally seal it, but we noticed that the seal from the roll-up door sits uh, right up against, you probably can't see it, but sits right up against on the inside anyway, so there's a little extra seal there. Okay, we are making some progress. We've got the door up and one hinge on. We think you've got it all shimmed up and squared. So this is kind of what it's going to look like, the sheathing here, and of course we'll add one more panel there. Door is going to swing open this way. And uh, fingers crossed that this all is going to work here. We're just going to kind of get it fitted here and then do the final touches. So far so good. Step back, give you a look at the whole thing. So this is the current state of the back door on the box van. Did go in and use silicone caulking on all the wood joints there. Caulked around all of pretty much everywhere there was any type of gap around the frame here. And it's been holding watertight very well. Had some very, very heavy downpours for extended amount of time and no leaks, so that's good. And then currently for the lock setup, I'm just using one of these van security locks and it's working out okay. I do still do not have a doorknob set up, so I need to work on that, some sort of latching for just every day in and out. And then uh, we'll show a little bit of what we did at the bottom here. We went with a scraper on the outside there, and then I'll show you the door jam setup. So this is what we did for the bottom door stop here. Just took one of these thresholds for an outward swinging door. It does have a seal at the bottom here. This uh, steel bottom piece where the old latch from the roll-up door is not totally true and flat, so there's a little bit of a dip here, and there was a hole for the latch. I have that taped up right now, but we'll probably have a hole going through there for any type of drainage on the outside. 
It did silicone caulk all of the bottom joints on the door jam, the whole door jam here, and this door jam does have seals all the way around. Again, not totally finished, have some refining to do, but that is the current door setup. Well, thanks for joining me on this one. We'll see you in the next video with more build progress. Hope you're all doing well out there. We'll see you soon. Take care. Peace.